Hello guys, um, today we're going to continue our video regarding uh, how to stream video, movies and TVs basically uh, on a uh, Kodi uh, Android program. So this is a, if you're not familiar with this, this is a, uh, a screen for um, Google Nexus Player. Okay, so I have installed Kodi on it and this house has now been updated to the Krypton, the most recent version of Kodi. Uh, the interface is a little different, but it's basically the same thing. Okay, so now we have installed um, all the necessary plugins, including one channel and Exodus. Um, for how to install these, uh, refer to my previous video. So now today the topic is uh, Exodus, because Exodus compared to um, one channel or Prime Y, they are both very good. They have the widest selection of videos, including movies and TV shows. Um, I, I, I like Exodus best, better, I think this is the, the best, because it gives you all, uh, more sources, video sources, than uh, one channel. And sp uh, speed is also faster, because it actually checks the sources for uh, if they are still valid before it actually shows on the, on the on screen, and compared to one channel, it, it lists a lot of the sources, but some of them are uh, definitely not playable. Uh, so it's definitely more convenient and faster to play uh, videos on Exodus. So let's go into Exodus. Uh, now, one thing I don't like Exodus is that in the latest version, it, um, well, in all versions actually, um, it doesn't have the my favorites. Uh, the favorites kind of a function. Uh, so each time you want to search for a, like a movie and TV shows, you cannot um, store it. You have to next time when you watch the same TV show, for example, uh, it's a series. You watch one episode. Next time you watch another episode, you have to search for the name again. And we all know how difficult it is to type in Kodi or those small keyboard and you have to use your remote, especially if, you, if you're using a touch screen, that's probably better, but if you're using a TV remote, then it's hard to move uh, keys around to type in. So what I like to do is type in once and store it in my favorites. Next time I just go to my favorites, I don't have to type and search for the title again. Now, Exodus doesn't have this function. So how do we add this one? Today I'm going to show you how to add a similar to my favorites function on Exodus. So if you go to Exodus, it's, uh, there's movies, TV shows, and there's my movies and my TV shows. So these will actually act as my favorites uh, for Exodus. Uh, by the way, the Exodus doesn't have favorites. It's not by mistake, it's by intention. And the, the author of Exodus does not want you to have uh, my favorites uh, function. But like I said, this, there, is, there is my TV shows, for example, right? So there's a workaround. What you use is a third-party uh, service. If you go to my TV shows, for example, uh, it says no tracked or IMDB account found. So what, it's, what it does is it tracks your favorites with a third-party tracker, such as tracked or IMDB. So I uh, definitely prefer using tracked because it's tracked is as a free service. You sign up for free and it. Uh, tracks all your TV um, movie collections and it's available on multiple devices which means you can watch it um, on this Android TV box and then later another episode on your Apple computer or PC or Netflix it's all tracked right your progress is tracked so that's good and so right now it's not linked to any tracked account so what do we do we go to Tools. So tools here. You scroll down to. Uh, sorry, accounts. So we need to add an account for tracked. So on the screen, if you go to. There's tracked. It says authorization. So all you have to do. First of all, you have to go to tracked. On the on a web page, like on your cell phone or on your PC, to go to tracked.tv. That's T R A K T dot TV, and register for your free account. All you need is a username and a password, and log into that account and and just put it there. 
uh, wait for this. If we click authorization, okay, so it sh shows you you go to track.tv from a web browser slash activate. And once you're there uh, and you're logged into your tracked free account, then you just enter this code. This is says when prompt, enter this code. So we're going to go to that. Uh, we're going to go to an, another web browser. I'm going to show you. Uh, this is on my, on my cell phone. And you can see that. So we go to track.tv slash activate. And then this is the screen. On your PC, probably with a similar screen. So here you just enter the code and click continue. Okay, so we're going to enter this code. This is a one time code. So. And by the way, if you're concerned you're being tracked for what you're watching. Uh, on online and concerned Big Brother is watching you and you go to track um, and log into your track account and go to the settings and click private that way you'll you make your list private so that's how if you're paranoid about that you can do it that way okay so now as you can see you're fully configured for tracked account so now we'll go back oh actually let's see if it's saved it is saved. Okay. Okay. So let's go back to my TV shows. Now that we have configured our account, tracked, so it shows all these things. So basically, when you search for a movie or TV show, you can. Uh, let's let me just uh, show you that actually. Let me show you how to do that. We go to search. For example, if you want to search a TV show, uh, let's say I'm going to search for Sherlock. I'm going to painstakingly type in these things for the first time. Okay, so we're going to type in this TV show into the search. Okay, so say we want to save this one for our favorite so that later when there's new episodes we can watch it without searching for it again. So on this one, on this title of this TV show, you're going to bring out the context menu. For those who don't know how to bring out context menu on the TV box, I have made a video for it. Uh, so basically, this you press OK or whatever center button, long press it, press and hold, and so bring out the context menu. So over here, you want to select Tracked Manager. Okay, so track manager, you're going to select where you want to add this. You could add three ways. Uh, you can add it to a collection, which is a collection of all your favorite TVs and movies. You can add it to a watch list, the one you've been watching, um, or you can create a new list, um, a different name. Uh, so it really doesn't matter. I, I'll just add it to my collection. Okay, so it's apparently added, right? So now. Let's go back. To my TV shows and check collection. It's going to go online and fetch information. Now you can see I have two similar shows. I mean, not similar in style, but similar in characters. Uh, so Elementary, which I'm watching for right now, and Sherlock. Okay, so we go to Sherlock. So you see this this is uh, uh, season one for example right uh, how do you track your progress uh, if I already watched this one you want to long press on this one 
and check as watched in cracked. Just wait for it to process. Um, so this I think is a bug. You see I, I pressed watched um, for season one but it's actually marked all of these as watched. Uh, this is a, something I have yet to discover how to fix um, on, on the TV box if that is. Uh, so the way to fix it if you, if you, if you go to tracked.tv uh, on a, from a browser, you bring out your this pro, uh, this TV program you saved in your collections, and you click the, the button that says uh, "Mark it as watched" or "un unwatched," whatever. So once you do it there, somehow here it shows correctly, but here it's somehow shows all watched, and there's no way for you to see to undo it. If you do it. Long press context menu, do it unwatched in chat. Well, it works here. So, um, so I guess we could. Let's see if we do it. It's, it's uh, it works differently on uh, on my cell phone when I try the first time. So I guess it's kind of a difficult to predict the behavior. So if we do it unwatched, for, see, for season two, now all seasons are unwatched. Okay, so pretty much you have to figure out yourself how to do this, but I find out on the PC account, like a browser account, it's easier to do it, to mark this as watched. Once you mark there, it will be correct here. But here is kind of difficult. Here, but basically, every episode you watch after you finished it, manually mark it as watched and tracked. So it'll be available on all the devices that you have the link to the uh, tracked account, and also as the correct progress. Uh, because the access it doesn't do that for you. Every time you finish watch, watching an episode. It does not mark it as watched, so you pretty much have to go in there and uh, uh, I mean, bring out the context menu and do it yourself. So apparently here, in this TV box, it works well if you mark each episode separately. Not the entire show or the entire season, but each episode can be marked successfully or unmarked. So there we go, guys. This is basically how you do this. And um, after adding this, my TV show or my favorite function, I think access is now perfect.